everyone. I have got a very exciting video for you today. I was recently contacted by someone from WH Smiths called Lauren and she asked me if I wanted to receive some products from one of their new collections they've just launched. Obviously WH Smiths stocks a lot of stationery items. It was my go-to place when I was a kid for stationery shopping for school but along with stocking other brands they do have their own brands of stationery, their own collections of stationery and the products they sent me today are from their new Moderno, 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 not sure quite how to pronounce it but it's modern with an O, Moderno Woman collection. So it's a lot of marble and pinks and gold and it just looked beautiful. They did have a tropical collection which I was gonna go for because it was super colourful but I'm just not a massive fan of the whole flamingos and pineapples and tropical that is very in at the moment. So I went for this one instead. If you saw one of my recent vlogs, I did show when this arrived and me opening it and you kind of got my first reaction in that video. But I haven't gone through everything. I haven't looked at everything in detail. I've pretty much just opened the box, moved the tissue paper and had a nosy like that. I haven't yet rummaged through everything. So that is what I'm gonna do today with you. <laughs> um, I'm gonna have a good old rummage, have a look at everything, show you what they've sent me. And this is only a small selection of the products available in the collection. Obviously I'll have everything linked below so you can go over to the WH Smith's website and have a look. But yeah so the first item is actually the box. So it's made of cardboard I think but it's like super strong cardboard and it has this kind of triangle design. So you've got a section of marble, a section that's like pink and a section that is gold as well. Inside there's a little note from Lauren and a load of tissue paper. And then underneath that, this is what I saw and oh my goodness, I'm so excited. So obviously this is a stationary collection, but I feel like they have a lot of lifestyle products in the collection as well. So the first kind of lifestyle-y item is this water bottle. This bottle is actually glass. It has like a rubber um, cover on it, I suppose. If you did bash it slightly, it's not gonna just shatter. It holds 360 millilitres of water. I really like the size of this. It's not a massive water bottle but it definitely holds a decent amount of water. It's kind of like handbag size. The lid is plastic but the bottle is glass. There's then a set of pens. I am going to open these up and give them a little go. So you've got one that's marble, one's light blue and one is a light pink. They all have rose gold metal details on and they all say different things on them. So this one says right away but obviously right like with a pen. It's all right and right on. On the ends of them they they do have what looks like a stylus, one of those stylus points. So if you're using a touch screen at the same time, you could use this at the same time as writing. They write in black ink. I think they're all the same. Does it say on the box? It doesn't say on the box. So I'm actually gonna try them all just to see. So they all write in black ink, which is really good. And they're a biro pen. We then have a B5 Wiro notebook with 120 ruled pages. On the front you have the Dreamers Reel in gold foil and then you obviously have this really pretty like watercolour -y pink effect on the front. And then inside you just have lined paper as it said. I've not had a notebook that's B5 before. It's a very odd size. I feel like it's taller than A5 but not quite as wide as A4. It's somewhere between the two. There's then two more things in here. This is an A4 folio clipboard. I really like these and I wish I had more of a chance to use them. On the front you have a clip for your paper and then down here it says hold it together in gold foiling. This has the same pattern as the box lid but it just doesn't have the gold on it. When you open it up inside it's all marble. On the left hand side you have a pocket for whatever notes and stuff you need to hold and it says it's what's inside that matters. And then on the right hand side you have a big A4 notepad and it's actually quite a decent sized notepad. It's got quite a few sheets on it and at the bottom of every page it says don't quit your daydream. I feel like under here is quite messy how it's attached. I don't I don't know if that's how it's meant to be attached or what. Usually you just have like a giant pocket that fits the back of the notepad in. But this one for some reason has like a weird, I don't know, I don't really know what's happening here. <laughs> but you know, it's hidden under the notepad. I just think you can't refill it after you've used the notepad, which is a bit of a bummer. The last thing I have to show you is this and it says head in the clouds. This is an inspirational planner with three card slots, foil sticker sheets and a customizable notepad. This isn't real leather. It has like the textured effect on the front, kind of like Safiano 
texture and obviously you can see it's light pink back and front you have a zip going all the way around which is really nice and smooth and inside you have a spiral bound planner and then you have the gold foiled stickers and there's two sheets of those which are both the same on them you have things like holiday important love this plan of action today's the day and yay and then a load of heart stickers i love the pocket set up over here so you have like it says three card slots you have one small pocket there you have the bigger pocket here which is what they had the stickers in and at the top of that one it says do what you love and then you have one big pocket here they do feel quite tight so i don't know how much you'll be able to fit in them but yeah you don't have a ton of space in here anyway and then the planner on this side is very different to anything i've seen before it's got cream pages and obviously it's called an inspirational planner by the looks of it you have three different sections you have the pink section which is a to-do list section you have the blue section which is the diary and then you have the grey section which is your planner and then there's also a load of blank pages at the back as well the to-do list section is split up like this all the pages are the same on both sides so you have a column of lines and a column of dot grid in the blue section which is the diary section it just has lined paper with a section for the date at the top so this is more to keep a diary keep a journal a space to write about your day and what's gone on and then the grey section which is the planner is more about obviously planning your days ahead, your week ahead. So you have plan of action, you have a section for the date, and then you have two large blank boxes with a box of lines at the side. And then at the bottom you have a blank section and another line section, which is a lot smaller. And again, that's the same on both sides of the pages. All of the different sections have different colored edge pieces so you can see all the pink section the blue section and the gray section this is only 14.99 which i think is a really good price it definitely feels really good quality and i suppose if you didn't want to use the planner diary you could just pop an a5 notebook in there i've just found an a5 craft notebook off my shelf and i think it is a5 so you can just put any a5 notebook in there so yeah if you didn't want to use the planner like that and you wanted to use the planner just separately like this um you could always take it out and just put a notebook in here it doesn't lie super flat but it does lie flat enough in my mind so that is everything i was sent from wh smiths if you haven't had a look at their new collections i'll leave a link to them below i'd love to know below if you guys have got your hands on any of this stuff already i think my favorite thing has to either be the water bottle or the planner i think those two are my favorites and i'm going to get most use out of them as always if you do have any questions then let me know below thank you all so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video